Okay, today we're looking at this 816 from the grade 10 HSE workbook. Uh, they've given you a square prism over here. They've given the auxiliary view of the square base and a front view. What they're going to ask you to do is to do a sectional left view, a sectional right view and a sectional top view over there. They're also wanting you to project the true shape of the cutting plane. Right. Um, what I've done here is I have drawn it out and I've labeled it so that you can see the numbers very clearly. I'm a one, two, three, four over there, five, six, seven, eight. Those are the corners. I have got number one, two, three, four down at the base over here, five, six, seven, eight up at the top of the thing. I've then transferred those numbers uh, using this method over here where I transfer from the X, Y axis over here. I transfer that number one, there's number one, take it down to the X, Y axis, mark off number one, take it across to this X, Y axis, mark it off over there, take it across to this X, Y axis, mark it off over there, and label it as number one, number one, number one. It should be the same distance from the X, Y axis in this view, that view, and that view, as it is in this view over here. All right. Okay, you transfer all of those numbers in exactly the same way. If I wanted to do two, let's take that measurement from two, go find two over there, take it across to the X, Y axis, mark off two, label it two, take it across to the X, Y axis over here, mark off two, label it as two. Same story over here, take it over there, there's number two. Just a quick check, number two is the furthest away from the X, Y axis. Number two is still the furthest away from the XY axis. Same story over here. There's my XY, there's my two furthest away. There's my XY, two's furthest away. Transfer all of those numbers so that you get your two, your top of the square prism and the bottom of the square prism. You'll note that I've done it in construction lines um, and we are going to work using those, those line numbers. So one five is a line number, two six is a line number, 4, 8 is a line number, 3, 7 is a line number, and we are going to find our cutting plane on those lines. All right, there are four lines going up here. You can see that by the four corners that I've got there, and my cutting plane is going to go through those four lines. I'm going to label my cutting plane using letters. I'm going to call this cutting plane, where the cutting plane goes through 1, 5 over here. I'm going to label that as A. There is A on the cutting plane, and I'm going to put my A on my auxiliary view as well. Number B, I'm going to say is on 2, 6. B on 2, 6. There is B on 2, 6. Let's say C is on 3, 7. There is 3 on C, 7. I'm sorry. There is C on 3, 7. And I uh, go back over here. D is on your 4, 8 over there. All right, there is D on 4, 8. Okay, um, note I've got four numbers over there. I've got my four numbers over there, or four letters at least, four letters over there, four letters over there, showing me where the cutting plane is cutting through this prism. I'm now going to transfer those numbers, those letters at least, down onto my different views. Okay, let's take my T-square, and I say that A is on this line 5, 1. So I look for 1, 5 on my top view, and I drop a line coming down from A onto the top view, and I label that as A. There it is on 1, 5. I take that across from A, Take that across and I label that as A on 1, 5. And I can take that across over here onto my right view. And I have got A uh, on line 1, 5 over there. I'm going to do the same for all the other letters. B on the top view. B, we said, is on 2, 6. I drop that down. And you can see B on 2, 6. Take that across to these two over here. Oops. Take that across. There is B on 2, 6 and B 
on 2.6. C, I'm going to drop that down on 2.6. C, we said, was on 3.7. There is 3.7 there. Where is 3.7? There There is 7 over, over here. There is C over there. Drop down onto 3.7. Sorry, there is 3 over there. 3.7. There is C. Um, come up here. Let's take C across to 3.7. There is C on 3.7 and C on 3, 7 over there. Where is 7? There is 7. Okay. Right. Okay. Once I've done that, okay. Uh, sorry, I need to find D as well. D, you can see, is on the same line as B, and it is up against the X, Y axis. D, note D, 4 and 8, they're all on the X, Y axis on that view. Therefore, they're still on the X, Y axis over there. There is D over here on my X, Y axis and D over here on my X, Y axis. Right. Once I've got those letters in place, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to draw in my cutting plane in all of my views. Right. Let's go as fast as we can to just draw in the cutting plane. Go. Okay, draw in that cutting plane on the right view, A, B, C, and D, let's just do that, there we go, there's my cutting plane, right, Okay, so there's my cutting plane drawn in. The very next thing that I must do is to just hatch that very, very quickly. Okay, so we're just going to do some quick hatching. I'm going to sorry, let me just do this very, very, very quickly going across. I'm doing this hatching much larger than it needs. The spacing is very, very big in comparison to what it really should be, but I just want to do it quickly so we don't waste time on the video. Okay, make that spacing about five millimeters apart. I've done it a little bit bigger just to speed things up. There we go. There we go. Okay. And there's our cutting plane. You can see the cutting plane in all of those views. Right. My next trick is to figure out what I'm going to be seeing in each view. Um, let's start with this top view. Um, I'm just going to take this little eagle over here, and the little eagle is looking down. Now, I must be able to see the cutting plane, which means that this top section with the 5, 6, 7, and 8 is going to be removed. What am I going to be able to see? I'm going to be able to see the cutting plane, A, B, C, and D, and I'm going to be able to see the base of this thing, 1, 2, 3, and 4. All right, so let's have a look. Can I see this line going from A to 1? Definitely, my eagle can come down and I can hit that. So I can draw in a nice dark line going between 1 and A. I obviously have an edge going between 2 and 1 and one over there. I've got an edge going between 1 and 4 over here. And I've got hidden detail, which is going to go down to 3 over there. Why is it hidden detail? Well, if you look where my eagle is, um, He's not going to be able to see that number uh, two and three and three and four. Why? Because it's underneath this whole lot. Okay, so start out and draw number one A in dark and you'll be able to see that, well, what, what's happening underneath is not going to be able to be seen. All right. Do I have an edge going between two and B? Absolutely, I do. Do I have an edge going between... 4 and D. Yes, I do. And I need to have a bit of hidden detail going between 3 
and C over there. And you see that idea, the eagle looking down, cannot see that line going between three and C. There's my top few done. Now I'm going to do the right view over here. Let's do the right view first. Looking across, I can, um, I want to be able to see the cutting plane, okay, which means that the top section again gets taken away. Numbers five, six, seven, and eight must be taken away. Seeing the cutting plane, I will be able to see the base in this. So let's have a look. Can I see this line 3C? Absolutely, I can see that. So I'm going to draw that in first. There is 3C over there. I obviously have an edge going up to four over there. I've got an edge which is going to go up to two over there. I've got an edge going between two and B. I've got an edge going between four and D. That needs to be in hidden detail because it's at the back between one and four. And I've got hidden detail going between two and one over there. And I have got hidden detail going between one and A over there. If you look at it, the little man cannot see that line. It's at the back and behind the view that he will be able to see over here. All right, so for the top view and the right view, you could see that I took away that top section. My left view, however, if I turn myself around and I'm looking from the left, I'm going to, well, I would normally see number one, two, three, four, wouldn't I? But I don't want to be able to see number one, two, three, four. I want to see the cutting plane, which means that in my left view, I'm going to remove the bottom part of this thing, and I'm going to be able to see the top part of it. Okay, so let's have a look at that. I need to be able to see five, six, seven, eight on this view over here and the cutting plane. So let's have a look. Can I see this line A5 over here? Very definitely, I'm looking across, I can see that line A5. Draw that in first. I've obviously got an edge which is going to go between five and six over there. I've got an edge that's going to go between eight and five over there. I can finish off a line going down there, a line going down there because they are edges. And then the hidden detail part of this thing that line is obviously going to be hidden detail because it's behind everything. That is going to be in hidden detail as well. And I'm going to have hidden detail going between 7 and C. Look at that. Looking across here, my little man cannot see 7 and C. It must be hidden detail. Right, there are the three views that you need to have drawn. The last view that we need to draw is the cutting plane of this. I'm going to do another video on that just showing you how to go about doing that.